Good evening. I'm Kit Kramer, President and CEO of the Asheville Area Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the 114th annual meeting of the Chamber. It happens to be my first, and I am thrilled to be here. Thank you. The Chamber is all about creating jobs and an environment for business and for serving our members. So I can't think of a better way to start this annual meeting than with an important economic development announcement. We are really fortunate to have outstanding leadership in the form of Kay Ray Bailey as the chairman of the Economic Development Coalition this year. And I, I'm looking forward to, he should be escorting our special guests in any moment to share with you the news everybody's been waiting for with bated breath. Okay, please join me in welcoming Kay Ray Bailey to the lectern. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, my honor uh, to serve as uh, your chairman of the Economic Development Coalition for uh, Asheville and Buncombe County. That is a public-private partnership among the Asheville Chamber, the Buncombe County, and the city of Asheville and it represents the best of the collaborative nature of our community. Our region, our people, our elected officials, and our businesses recognize that we are stronger when we all work together. We're extremely proud to include you in an exciting announcement this evening. From our first conversation with the fine people that you are about to meet, a wide range of community and business leaders have worked diligently to bring this announcement to fruition. In the site selection process, a prospect company asks a fundamental question. Can I grow my business in this community? As I look around tonight, I see many folks in this room who were enlisted at some point to help this company answer that question. Asheville and Buncombe County is indeed a place where world-class entrepreneurs and companies can thrive. We owe this success to the strength and to the talent of our existing workforce, our specialization in advanced manufacturing, our world-class educational institutions, and the unique community culture and last but not least, the quality of life. With the onset of the recession some four years ago and the loss of jobs and the employers that followed this community did not sit idly by. That's not in our way in Western North Carolina. Instead, this community pulled together, pooled resources, built partnerships, and put in the hours and the sweat equity that was necessary to bring about the good news that we're celebrating here tonight. Folks, we owe a real debt of gratitude to the people who dedicated themselves to a brighter day in this community. First and foremost, to the leadership of the Buncombe County Commission and Asheville City Council. And please hold your applause until I've introduced these folk. From the Buncombe County Commissioners, Chairman David Gant, Vice Chair Bill Stanley, Commissioner Holly Jones, Commissioner Carol Peterson, and not with us tonight is our county manager and our chief nego negotiator, Wanda Green, and we, we should, she could have been here with us. 
from the Asheville City Council, Mayor Terry Bellamy, Vice Mayor Brownie Newman, Councilman Jan Davis, Councilwoman Esther Mannheimer, Councilman Bill Russell, City Manager Gary Jackson, and I believe Cecil Bothwell and Councilman Gordon Smith could not be in attendance tonight. But there's some other allies that we'd like to recognize for their efforts. And when I call your name, please stand from the North Carolina Department of Commerce and already standing is the Secretary of Commerce, Keith Crisco. The Deputy Secretary of Commerce, Dale Carroll. And Economic Development Representative, Margie Bukowski. Where's Margie? Where are you, Margie? Thank you so much. And we also extend our gratitude to the representatives from the North Carolina Community College System. Scott Rawls, who is the president of the North Carolina Community College System, is with us this evening. Scott, where are you? Good. Maureen Little is the associate vice president for, uh, of customized training. From AB Tech, President Hank Dunn, and Ken O'Connor, who is the Executive Director of Economic and Workforce Development. Then I'd like to thank the Economic Development Coalition, a group of people who work diligently every day to bring jobs to this community. Those of you who are here, would you please stand up? And they're staffed by Kit Kramer, our uh, Chamber President, Ben Teague, the Vice President, and Clark Duncan, director. And there are a lot of folks also that I'd like to mention, the Asheville City Schools, the Buncombe County Schools, the Asheville and Buncombe County Planning Departments, the Employment Security Commission, Progress Energy Advantage West, and the Volvo Construction Equipment Company of North America, and countless others who have given their support and expertise. Folks, as you can see, successful economic development does, in fact, take a village. Please join me in thanking all those that I've introduced. And now it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce a lady who works diligently every day to bring jobs to our state, who was a champion for this project from its infancy, who is an advocate for the people of Buncombe County in Western North Carolina and is also a dear friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our governor, Beverly Perdue. It's a great day to be in Asheville. It's a really great day to be in Asheville. And lest I forget, I want to wish all of you a happy 4th of July. Be safe and remember that we have many men and women deployed from North Carolina's military bases who are still trying to protect the global freedom. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And my second message tonight is be careful if you do your own fireworks if you live anywhere but in Asheville where you've gotten all this rain. The rest of the state's in a real serious drought situation, and we don't want to have the fire police come and put you in jail on Monday night. It's a real privilege to be here. This is a project, uh, most of you know what we're about to announce. This is a project that Secretary Crisco and Del Carroll and I took personally. We wanted this company. We wanted you badly. And we were so delighted that both the city of Asheville, Terry Bellamy, and the city commissioners and the Buncombe County commissioners, David, your leadership and Ray Bailey's leadership were just as serious as we were about making this project happen. And this exemplifies the partnership that works so well in North Carolina. It's a great thing that we're doing here tonight and you couldn't be in any better place in North Carolina to make this announcement. Over the next four years, Nick Adams and Kevin Hodges. Nick is here tonight, and he'll speak in a few minutes. And Kevin is the Director of Business Development. He was here several times during several different meetings, both in Raleigh with the leadership of the General Assembly and with us working on this project. 
Lenamar Corporation will bring 363 manufacturing jobs and $80 million and $80 million in capital investments to Asheville. I want you to pause and take a, a moment to also recognize the strong participation of the members of the General Assembly who are with us tonight standing on this stage. Senator Tom Akadapa from this area, he represents Asheville. Tom, come on out front. <laughs> Representative Ray Rapp was passionate. Representative Susan Fisher, Susan. Representative Tim Moffitt, Tim, where are you? I saw him coming in. These men and women of the General Assembly were led by both the Senate Pro Tem, uh, Senator Berger, and the Speaker of the House, who is with us in the hall tonight, Tom Tillis. We thank you very much for your leadership. <laughs> Lenamar, let me say it again, 363 manufacturing jobs to Western North Carolina. And I believe if things go as expected with the workforce here and the quality of life and the capacity of this plant, the old Volvo plant, you will see much more than the 363 jobs now and more than the $80 million in investment. You all, this is what America needs to do. It's what North Carolina is focused on doing. This is a company that makes things again. We're manufacturing products in North Carolina and that's what's so important. These are really good jobs, really good jobs, and they pay a better wage than the county average. So somebody somewhere in Asheville and Buncombe County in the West are gonna be really happy to be working for this company. And I was told by Nick a minute ago that they're quite serious about this, and early next week, perhaps as early as that, you'll, beginning, you'll begin to see the postings of the openings and the hiring process will start. This company is dead serious about standing up an enterprise as fast as it can, and that means hopefully sometime this calendar year. This project didn't happen because there was a jobs ferry that flew over Asheville and sprinkled some sauce down and said, you all deserve this. It doesn't work that way when America is all competing, all the 49 other states for the same jobs. What made this win possible and there were other states in the hunt for this company. It made it possible because the General Assembly and the administration, Keith Crisco's team, has a toolbox that works in partnership with the local and regional programs. We have tremendous partnerships. We have state grants, a JDIG and a 1NC grant, and we worked with Margie and the North Carolina Department of Commerce to bring all the pieces together. We've been doing this for months with Buncombe County and the city of Asheville. And when I made a call, I think it was in December, for the commissioners, uh, to the Volvo owners and said, could you please lower the price of the building so that the county commissioners could buy the building? The price was lowered and the county commissioners stepped up, I think last night, and purchased the building. When we talked about Mayor Bellamy and what the city needed to do, they were willing to go far and beyond because they knew it was so critical to stand up new jobs in this manufacturing plant. And the community college, uh, always a great partner, was right there with us. Uh, president Scott Roggs and Hank Dunn, your president here, were tremendously important players in making this happen. Let me tell you just a little bit what they'll do because I'm a girl governor and I have to ask the real questions. I said, tell me what you're gonna do. They are gonna manufacture, they're gonna produce, they're gonna build precision machine components here in Asheville. That's the finest, most sophisticated metal working that can take place. They have customers for their industrial, their commercial, and their energy groups and all of those parts at some time or the other could be manufactured here. So these parts will leave Asheville 
and they will travel around the globe because this is a global company and find homes in other pieces of other brands and other companies. The Asheville Chamber and the Asheville Buncombe Economic Development Coalition understood the need for this project and they were a willing and able partner in making this happen. And as I talked to Nick and his leadership team, they were very clear about needing the commitment of the community college and of the public schools here in Buncombe County and Asheville City Systems to produce highly trained workers who could be re-educated as the technology in this company continues to transition. We've done those commitments, the promises in education, because North Carolina has always strategically invested in our human capital. That is the most important thing we can do to close a project like this. We understand that you can have all of the infrastructure and all of the incentives and all of the capacity in the world to get a company like Linamar to come to the dance, but unless you can promise them a constant stream of highly trained workers, they ain't gonna dance but once. Linamar trusted us. They believe in our commitment in North Carolina in education and investments. One of the company's tenets is diversification. They believe in new markets and new sectors and new geography. I think that we can all agree tonight that North Carolina is a big diversification for you coming from Canada. We're delighted to have you here. You know, they could have gone anywhere in the world. I want you all to understand that. They could have gone anywhere in the world and they chose Asheville. That says a whole lot about who you are as a people and what it took to get them here. And they chose North Carolina and the state shares the pride you have with this win. This is a state, and let me brag a minute, this is a state that even in these hard recessionary times, Site Selection Magazine says we're the best place in the country to do business nine out of the last 10 years. The Chief Executive Magazine ranked North Carolina as the number two best place for business. And just last week, CNBC's annual survey of where America's top states for businesses are said North Carolina was number three from Virginia and Texas, and it's our goal to beat Texas and Virginia next year. It's good news. <laughs> Linamar came to North Carolina because they trust us. They trust North Carolina's brand. They trust Asheville and Buncombe County's brand. And more than that, they trust the partnerships that are built right in this room. We are delighted that they are here. We are honored that they chose tonight as part of this Chamber of Commerce dinner. And no, Nick, all these people really love you, but they're not here just for Linamar. I want you to know that. It's my opportunity now to bring you up uh, the man who is the Vice President of Global Sales. He is in communities and towns all over the world. He understands doing business. And we have committed to him that Asheville is going to end up being his favorite place to visit a company. We hope to have him here to retire sooner or later. We're going to count on seeing you a whole lot in Asheville. Would you please give a good North Carolina, Western North Carolina welcome to Nick Adams. I'm going to have to come back here more often. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate that, and I'm truly excited to be here tonight. Uh, on behalf of Lindemar, let me just tell you that uh, this is a, a big decision for us, and uh, you know, Asheville done a, and the city and the state, the county's done a great job. Uh, just if I could, let me give you a few minutes on Lindemar. 
Uh, our company is a Canadian company, uh, primarily traditionally based in Canada near Toronto, but in, in the last few years we've, uh, uh, last decade I'd say we've been putting plants all over the world. Uh, the company was founded 45 years ago by our chairman who started the company in his basement with one machine and uh, named the company after his wife and two daughters, Linda, Nancy, and Margaret. That's the uh, Linda Mart. Everyone always tries to figure out what the heck that means. So uh, uh, he uh, has uh, been a great leader for our company. Uh, the last uh, 10 years, we've had unprecedented growth. Uh, I'd say in the last two years, we've had to hire 6,000 people. Uh, the company's... Our company is very strong. Uh, I, we really don't have a competitor on a global basis around the world at what we do. My group is responsible for, uh, as the governor said, the commercial, the industrial, and energy group. Uh, we uh, actually, uh, another piece of good news is we're not uh, moving work here. We're starting growth here. So nobody's losing their job somewhere else. Uh, this is all. Uh, this is all new work, and uh, our first uh, two customers are Caterpillar, and we'll be shipping uh, axle components for their 400-ton trucks to uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And uh, also, the uh, other customer, ironically, is Volvo Powertrain. And, uh, <clears throat> I'd have to say that I, uh, uh, we've had a lot of discussions with the Volvo construction people as well as the powertrain people, and uh, I've accused them of having this strategy uh, when we started, but quite honestly, uh, it's been great for both uh, groups. They've worked with the government here to try to make this possible, and we'll be uh, making the first uh, precision uh, engine blocks completely manufactured outside of Sweden ever by Volvo in North Carolina. I think the, uh, you know, the uh, excitement in our company is high. We had our chairman and uh, president here, oh, I think two weeks ago, to meet with the governor, and they were really impressed with everything. Uh, we, we move quickly, that's our motto in our company, so next week you'll be seeing advertisements for a job fair in the Asheville area, and we'll begin interviewing people uh, with the intent that by uh, the end of July we want to start hiring uh, our first uh, group of uh, employees with the idea that by November we start manufacturing uh, out of this facility uh, in Asheville. So. I, have, I have a bet with uh, our friends at Caterpillar Winston-Salem that we'll be making parts before they do. So. Uh, <laughs> So they started building their plant before me, so uh, we bought a plant. So, <laughs> so I, I don't want to take a lot of your time, but I do want to thank uh, so many people that helped us. Uh, you know, this was a long journey for us. Uh, uh, we uh, took a long time to decide uh, to come here, and our company only has one other plant in the whole U.S., uh, and that's, uh, you know, it's, not, it's been there for a long time. So. Uh, this was a big decision. It took us the last three or four months, we were actually down to uh, two locations, one here and one in another state. But uh, I'd have to say that uh, the support, uh, the communications, uh, this was incredible at all levels, from the governor's office to the county to the uh, city. And uh, you know everybody uh, made it possible for us. So we couldn't say no, I guess, is uh, the... Uh, <laughs> I actually was thinking when I was standing up here uh, how many future salespeople I could be hiring out of this group here. So, <laughs> so anyway, I won't take a lot of time, but let me try to just make sure I don't miss anybody. But, you know, Governor, you know, you've been awesome. Just appreciate everything you've done. Uh, you know, the Mayor, uh, Terry Bellamy, thank you again for everything you've done. The, the Buncombe County Group, uh, the North Carolina Department of Commerce uh, with Keith and his team, 
been phenomenal. Uh, the community college system that you have here is one of the best we've seen, and we intend to use it. And, uh, <clears throat> we're actually uh, thinking of uh, how we can start to create an intern and an apprenticeship program down here. So we're... Uh, <clears throat> We will be making a lot of phone calls shortly, so. Uh, and finally, the Economic Development Group and the, the group, the city, I mean, again, everybody was phenomenal and too many people to thank. And I just close with the fact that, uh, you know, Lindemar is coming here to grow. Uh, we're coming to be an active part of your community and we're coming here to stay. So, thank you. Three of our members here that would uh, would like to make uh, brief comments, and we'll begin with uh, the mayor of uh, our great city of Asheville, Terry Bellamy. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you, Nick, for this unprecedented committed commitment to the Asheville community and the people of Western North Carolina. It is my great honor to be the first official tonight to say, welcome home. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize and to thank the other members of the Linamar management team who have traveled from both um, near and far Michigan office, offices for this announcement this evening. Would you please stand as I call your names? Adrian Schaefer, who is the Vice President of Sales of Lindenmar Ind Industrial. <laughs> Kevin Hodges, the Director of Business Development for Lindenmar. <laughs> I have had the distinct pleasure of getting to know this organization and its leadership over the past several months. From our very first meeting and the conversations that followed, it became apparent that because of Linda Mars company's origins, innovative growth strategies, strong corporate values, commitment to their employees and the communities where they operate, that Linda Mar was a strong match for our mountains. We trust that in the coming days, the coming days, many of you in this room will not only become friends and neighbors with the company's management and staff, but true partners in growing the Lindemar brand and business for the next generation in Asheville. I am confident that the spirit of partnership that drove this project and secured this world-class employer for our community will only strengthen and grow in years ahead. To the Lindemar leadership, I pledge the full support of our city, the strength of our world-class workforce, and the, innovative, and the innovative and independent spirit of our residents who have long worked together to strengthen our community, solve problems, grow strong businesses, and move our region ahead. We look forward to a stronger future with Lindemar in Asheville. Thank you again for choosing Asheville, and again, welcome home. Please join me in welcoming a good friend and partner, Chairman of the Buckland County Commissioners, Mr. David Gant. Two more. Two more, and then we're through. What a great evening for Buncombe County. How about it, folks? You know, they didn't get the memo that said manufacturing's dead in the United States. I'm glad you didn't get it. Because it's alive, it's well, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what it's going to mean to you and me. I first of all want to thank the Buncombe County Commission. They came to us and said, we want you to support this, but it's going to take $7 million to buy the plant. And we'd never gotten anything like that before. But Vice Chair Stanley, Commissioner Peterson, Commissioner Jones, 
and Commissioner Bailey had the political guts to do it, and we did it gladly. And let me tell you, the person I want to thank the most here is Ray Bailey, because everything that's happened here has his fingerprints all over it. You know, he's been our go-to guy when he was AB Tech president. He was our go-to guy when he was president of the Chamber of Commerce. He's our go-to guy in local government. Tonight, we're here to welcome uh, Linamar to this community because they've pledged investments totaling $125 million to our tax base, and we're excited by their plans to hire 400 people of the best and brightest management, engineering, and manufacturing professionals to drive their continued growth in our area. Now, let me tell you what that means to you, and a lot of you know this. Y'all are pretty savvy out there. For, for every job, economists tell us it's going to create around two to three more jobs. So if we look at the direct and indirect impact to Buncombe County, we're talking about not 368, not 400, but 1,000 new job opportunities for our people right here in Buncombe County. <laughs> Buncombe County residents are going to will earn over $42 million annually in new payroll income as a result of this location, and the impact is far-reaching. This is a great moment to celebrate tonight. Let me make it clear, though, the real work's about to begin. The work of planting the most sizable plant location our county's seen in many decades is already underway. Now listen to this, <laughs> The work of identifying, hiring, and training the best workforce begins next week. Two-day job fair at AB Tech Inca campus, already working with Hank Dunn and, and, and Ray's uh, America's favorite, uh, favorite college to renovate this. They're going to have June, July 5 and July, July 5 and July 6. They're already going to be here talking to you about new jobs. The work of renovating this world-class facility to 21st century standards of safety, quality, uh, productivity, and efficiency will begin August 1 with the arrival of the first moving truck. If you were looking for some type of indication of what kind of company that we're celebrating here tonight, look no further than the speed and determination they've already displayed to fulfill their commitments to Buncombe County. And this was a group that had a little bit of vision you know, they started in a guy's garage, and they built this company because they dreamed, they had vision, and we're going to embrace them and make those dreams and visions come true and grow and be fertile here. In Laura Mar, we found a partner who leads their industry in quality and growth. In Linamar, we found a partner who exceeds and makes their commitments. They keep their word. We found a partner who empowers and develops their employees and values of the, com of the communities they live in. This has been a partnership. As the, everybody said, none of us could do it alone. I want to thank the state of North Carolina, the governor. I want to thank the mayor, city council. But most of all, I want to thank the people on the Buncombe County Commission for having the vision to do this. We did it together. And join me again in welcoming Linamar to Buncombe County and offer our lasting appreciation and partnership for their launch, continued and spectacular growth right here in Buncombe County. Thank you, and it's my pleasure. My last act here, it's my pleasure to introduce my favorite Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Keith Christo, who's made this happen. Secretary, come on down. Thank you. Thank you. It is absolutely wonderful being in Asheville tonight. Everybody's been thanked except the most important one, and that's all of you. When you gave that warm, long applause to Nick Adams, that's a good North Carolina welcome. Thank you for doing that. There's a special economic development here tonight. Ray Denny, will you come help me do a little work? The governor would like you to come up, and I'd like for you to come up. Ray, I, I, haven't, I know you're here. I haven't found you. But uh, if you're, there he comes. Today's his last day of work. He retires tomorrow.
It's wonderful. It's a long way from Cameron to Asheville, but this man made it all the way. Uh, Nick, will you, you come forward? I've got a little present for you. You know, I, I was a little concerned when I learned, as I learned more about this company. They've got, they're doing it in China. They're based in Canada. They have plants everywhere. So when they come to Asheville, how, I, I'm concerned that they won't know where they are. They'll just be another plant. How are they going to know that they're in Asheville? Well, particularly, how are they going to know that they're in North Carolina. And we figured out how they can know always when they come to this plant that they're in North Carolina. It's a North Carolina flag to fly in, in that plant. I think that wrong. Right? And, uh, Ray Denny is retiring tomorrow, but he's got a job. He's got to go by that plant three months after it's constructed and make sure this flag's flying. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I think he has a present to give, too. Thanks. Uh, I do have a little gift that uh, our chairman wanted to send down to uh, the governor, and it's more of something you would expect out of a Canadian company. By the way, I'm not Canadian, but uh, uh, so, so I won't take any responsibility for this. So. Oh, there we go. You may recognize one of these. It's so, an uh, official Toronto Maple Leafs uh, game stick autographed uh, by uh, Doug Gilmore. And uh, this may help you with the next company you talk to, to give them a little uh, <laughs> Thank you. I just have one thing that I want to say to the folks from Linamar. It's that we have a headquarters building available, and we would love to have a U.S. headquarters of Linamar right here in Asheville. <laughs> 